person that's here. <laughs> um, my first, second time going live, I think. Uh, so bear with me. We have a ton of renovations going on upstairs. So I figured it might just be easier to come online. All right, I have to figure out how to... I don't know how to do anything here. Oh, there we go. Uh... Okay. So... I'm just going to start setting up and I have the two bags from my one haul that I didn't have time for, but I'm going to do that as I promised. And I have a mystery box that I bought from eBay. Uh, so I will be showing you those and yeah. Hello, Kristen Evans. <laughs> okay. So Again, bear with me. This is like my second time ever going live, so I don't know. Hey, girl. How well this is going to play out, especially with Miss Coco in the background. <laughs> um, but I can't even get in my room. There's so much stuff, uh, and it's just project after project. Hi. So I'll start with this bag. Now, this bag probably doesn't have anything in it. It was... $1.99, but it's been so few and far between with the bags that I figured I would just give it a try. And it was half off that day, so this was only a dollar. There are, I know, a couple pins that I can use to craft with, so I figured I could use it for a dollar. But I can't wait to show you what's in these two, because those are exciting. Those I know what's in there. Uh... So first thing is stuck. <laughs> okay. It is someone's initials, DDM. It looks like very rust or er, very worn, faded. I'm not going to be able to use that for anything. So I will just redonate. Maybe somebody can craft with it. This is some sort of sequin. Oh, wait, is it a butterfly or something? I don't know what it is, so we're just going to... Oh, maybe maybe it's just a, a funky flower. Can't use that, so <laughs> that one goes back. This... I have no idea. A heart, maybe? My goodness, what the heck did I buy? I have no idea what that is. It looks like, um, I don't know. And my, my ring light is just acting crazy. Let's see if we can fix it. Oh, oh, that probably better. Um, so sorry, but bear with me. All right. This one I can just use. I'm sure this one's fine for crafting. Yeah. Oh, you think that's what it is? There you go. I was thinking of that uh, feed Missy more, <laughs> but yeah, maybe a Venus flytrap. It's goofy. Oh, Coco wants to say hi. She wants to steal something. She doesn't want to say hi. She's already stolen one thing and ran across the room. For a type of cancer? With the teeth? Oh. It looks like teeth. Okay, uh, this is like, what is that, like, like 90s? Oh, hi, Coco. Come on, get 90s grandma. <laughs> it's really cute. I just would never use it, but I think I will use it maybe to craft with. We'll put it to the side for a little while, and then if it doesn't get used, it goes, gets donated. This is an earring. Uh, it's the big 30, not in a couple of years. Uh, I love Lebanon, USA. 
Oh, Lebanon, USA. It must be a place. This is regional Niagara. Now, sometimes these are, these can be gold or silver sometimes. This one is marked Taiwan, so it's neither. But definitely check on your tack pins from time to time. They can be gold or silver. So sometimes it's worth double checking those. This one is not marked anything. Hold on. So I'll probably donate that. This is New York State Junior Deputy Sheriff's Association. That's kind of cute. I might keep that. So I hope everybody is having a good Monday. I wanted to get a video up. Team Bride, we are way past that too. Uh, I wanted to get a video up Sunday, but like I said, I just, I can't get in my room and I was going to go live, but then I was like, I don't know. So today seemed like the best day. This, again, something I won't use. Don't let your lungs go to pot. <laughs> okay. It's almost legal in New York state. Well, it's not illegal, but it's not legal yet. Uh, this, I believe, is a breast cancer. I can't tell if it's pink or red. It looks pink. Breast cancer pin. Old Forge Snowdio. So I'm thinking this was kind of a flop for a buck, but it's fine. This is definitely some sort of flower. I, I can use that. This I can use... So bear with me through this, but these are going to be good. These, I promise, are really, really good. Uh, this is... <laughs> I don't know what that is. That is a Donate United Way pin. This is all the stuff that probably didn't sell. They just threw in here some sort of caterpillar. I love you with all my kidney. Uh, hi! Look who's 40. <laughs> oh, that sounded terrible. Uh, teacher pin. And then the rest are just junk. Not junk, but nothing I can use. So that was a flop. But you know what? I had to buy it for a dollar. I hadn't bought one in so long that I was jonesing. I normally don't do them on video because I didn't know if people wanted to see them, but I do get jewelry bags and stuff. I usually just buy them for me when it's like a rainy day or just I've had a rough week or something. Just to sit down with a glass of wine and go through it is so relaxing and exciting. So if you guys ever want to see me do those, I do have like four bags from Salvation Army, and I think I have one from uh, Goodwill. It's so hard to get now, but I do have those if you want to see them. All right, so here, this I picked up on Poshmark. I just got it in the mail today. It was $18, and it is this green turquoise. I forgot, it was like, they called it, Okay, I'll do some. We'll do one and see how it goes. <laughs> uh, this is green turquoise. I think they called it Kermit turquoise, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but it was 18, and it has this beautiful, like, feather design on the back. And it says Sterling, I believe, Philippines. So I don't know if this is authentic native or if it's just it's, I'm, I'm guessing because it's from the philippines it's just made to look um native but i think it's so cool for 15 dollars uh all right i guess we'll get into this one so some of this let me take out the pieces that were bought. So this whole bag was bought together except for a few pieces. And I'll take those out right now. I'll show you those first. And then I'll show you the bag of amazing 
vintage uh, Indian jewelry. All right, one, two, three, four. I got one more in here. Okay, so these I purchased on Mercari or Poshmark, I can't remember. And I paid, is it? I paid 80 for all four, five, sorry. And I'll show you. Um, they are all vintage and they are all sterling. And I got this, what is it, a Thunderbird, I believe, with the crushed turquoise. These all need to be clean. They're all marked, um, but they all are really, really old and just need to be cleaned. I bought that one. It was all from the same seller. This one. Once these are cleaned up, these will look so nice. I, they're like so dirty, I can't even read what the artist artist signatures are. Uh, these two and then these three are my favorites one is broken and I already knew that but I, I still loved it uh, and that is this one no not that one this one it has a crack but it is enormous and I think they called it old pawn um, I'm not really sure what the proper term is or the definition Okay. Do you know what the proper definition of old pawn is then? I'm not, I know it is, is it because they pawned them back in the day? Or, I don't know, but they said that this was old pawn, but it does have a crack. That is a bummer, but I, th I still think it's beautiful once it's cleaned up and it's huge. So there's that one. This one I love as well with the turquoise. I think that's a green tur turquoise too. And the coral. Coral. <laughs> Sorry. Every time I say coral, that's all I can think of. And like, I don't know if somebody had like a, a guard on this or used tape. Pawnee. Is that the name of like a tribe or? Yeah, I think somebody might have taped this to make it fit. And then this one, which is also gigantic. But I mean, just there, it's so old and crusty. <laughs> it needs to be cleaned up just a tad. But I thought for the price, they were really, really good pieces. Um, this one I'm going to have to get made smaller. Indian tribe. Thank you, Casey's Racing, to recycle. <laughs> So, again, these were all, all together, I paid 80 for those. So, less than 20 a piece, I thought was a pretty good deal. And then this one, okay. And then this one. Cookie Loke, come here, you want a cookie? You want a cookie? She knows I'm busy. Thank you, Kristen. Okay. Now, this bag, this whole bag, I paid $60, $65 for. And I cannot remember if it was on eBay or which, which, which site it was on, but the whole bag was $65. Let me move this back a bit. And I, there's some amazing stuff in here. So first thing are these uh, turquoise... Whoa, sorry, you guys almost fell. All right, these turquoise earrings, they are clip-ons, but I believe you can make them into regular earrings. Doesn't seem like it would be that hard. Um, I think they're pretty. They're sterling. Everything in here is sterling and marked. Um... Next are these earrings. Where's the other one? I couldn't believe that this was only $65. Like, there's such good stuff in here. Oh. All right. Where'd he go? There he is. 
So I don't know if these are dirty or what I, but like one is like super, super blue. And then the rest are kind of like greenish colored. And these are marked just sterling. But some of them actually have designer names. Okay, now this is tangled. <laughs> Forgive me, I'm so sorry. Okay, these are really pretty. These are regular earrings. And just need to be wiped up. See, I know some people like the older vintage look. I like mine to be shiny. Um, so I probably will shine whatever I'm keeping up. And these are just marked 925. These don't have a designer name on them. So these, I just think I've, all of these are just so beautiful. Here, let me put them there so you can see. Uh, these were also in there. And I don't know if these are a special kind of turquoise or if it's turquoise and something but they look like this. So I am not a jewelry person. I do not know my shit when it comes to them. I just know what I like. So any advice or help, I appreciate all of it. So yeah, I'm not quite sure. It almost feels like wood. That's exactly what it feels like. It feels like wood and turquoise. And these are just marked, oh wait, these are marked Sterling KR. Let me see. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get it to show up on there, but it, KRS, Sterling KRS is what these are marked. Uh, next was this turquoise ring. And this is marked 925AN. And I'm not sure if this is Sleeping Beauty. I think it's really, really pretty, though. Super blue, which is really pretty. So there's that ring... I think that's it for the little stuff. Okay. Oh, no. Then there's a pair of little tiny turquoise studs that are sterling silver. And those look like the, what they call this, Sleeping Beauty. I'm learning my jewelry as I go. <laughs> okay, now, ugh, some of these are just amazing. This turquoise necklace, I believe this one is marked, yeah, Car I think this is Carolyn Pollock, Relanos, Relanos, I'm not sure. I know it's Carolyn Pollock. And it is this long turquoise different colors, different sizes with the silver beads necklace, which is amazing for layering. Like all of these together would be great for layering. Uh, this next one is marked nine two five. I think this is, this is Carol, I think. Let me see if I can get it to show up on here. Yeah, this is Carolyn Pollock too. So this is the liquid silver and the different size and color chips of 
turquoise. And I thought that was really, really pretty. I just think turquoise is gorgeous. Turquoise and coral, like, it's, I love it. Especially in, like, the summer. It's very boho. Uh, this one, this one's cute, but it's not really my style. I believe this is liquid silver as well. Um, with the Hishi, Heshi beads. Uh, turquoise with the barrel clasp. And then it's got the little dream catcher. And I think that's a tiny piece of coral right in the middle. Oh, there's a better. <laughs> there's the front. That looks better. So that. And last but not least, this one is just amazing. This one is 925. And the other side says... Peyote bird. Peyote bird. Let's see. Nope, that's the 925 side. Wrong side again. Uh, somewhere. All right, I can't get it to focus. There. Peyote bird. And this one, I think, is the best piece out of all of it. It is turquoise and coral and more turquoise and more coral. Uh, then there is a silver. <laughs> I don't have much work area. I am so sorry. Uh, then there is a silver leaf. Um, this doesn't feel cold like crystal. I'm not sure if it is. And then... It just keeps going and going and going. It is super, super duper long. So yeah, so all of this for 65, which I thought was a great, great deal. All right, now we will move on to my eBay uh, mystery box, which <coughs> I'm super excited about. I made them an offer. Um, for she they had it listed at $9.99 or best offer. I made an offer for $80. Oh, that's good to know. Thank you. I will have to look that up. Some of these I'm gonna keep and some I'm gonna I'm gonna resell just because I don't want to have a ton because then I won't wear them. I know me, and if I have too much of something, I won't use it. Um so with the mystery box. I could see a couple of the things, and the one, the main thing I wanted was worth, definitely worth the $80. So I made her an offer for $80, and I held my breath until she responded, and she accepted, and I was so freaking excited, and even more excited once I got it, because some of the stuff I wasn't sure about, I was sure after I got it. So I will show you piece by piece. There is some junk in here. I think this is somebody's uh, relative, grandma, mom, sister, somebody's stuff that either A, maybe passed away and they just got rid of everything, or somebody was cleaning house because it's kind of random and the stuff has like the old smell to it. Not like stink, but just, you know, old smell. Like it's been in somebody's house for 30 years. So, I don't, and I know some of this stuff is at least 30 years old because... I had a couple of these things already. Okay, without further ado. First thing is this Happy Holidays bracelet. It's a vintage bracelet. Let's see if it's 1994. Oh, my daughter's vintage. Um, <laughs> this is not why I picked it. This is, has nothing to do with why I picked it. Cute little bracelet wa or watch. I will probably donate. I mean, but you know, I have... I know a lot of people don't like dealing with watches, but I have sold watches that you would think would be obsolete or not worth anything, and I've gotten decent money for them. So check your watches, especially, especially if they have calculators on them, like the old, you know, like Timexes with the calculators on them. Those, some of those can go pretty pricey. Um, 
I had one that was actually a TV remote. <laughs> it was a um, calculator and it like was a TV remote and it was from like the 90s and I think I sold it for like a hundred and something dollars, 190. So definitely when you're doing your jewelry jars, if you get those, definitely check your watches. Even like the, I just sold um, an Indiglo, one of those Indiglo ones and that sold for uh, like 40 or 50 bucks. So check your watches. Okay, next was this green box and inside... is this beautiful crystal starfish. So I think these two don't go together. I think somebody, because they're just, unless like this just doesn't tarnish, but this is like tarnished, whereas like older. I love this though, this is so sparkly. This is marked 925. And you can see, like, the crystals are really fiery. Um, it is Mark 925. I, there is another, looks like an A stamped in there. Let's see. No, we're not going to be able to see that. <laughs> Anyways, there's an A stamped in a box. And what I could see in the pictures, though was this and then I knew that this was 925 and it is marked 925. I am getting used to this camera and how like the zoom and everything works so please forgive me if it gets but this I will probably take the necklace off if I eh, maybe I'll clean it. My daughter really liked it but she's so spoiled she gets enough stuff. So I probably will clean this up and resell this it is very, very pretty though. I don't know, I don't know. I can't keep everything. I can't, but do you see how different color it is from that? So, all right, so again, this box was 80. Okay, so that, then we got, oh, we'll do that one. Okay, this is just, this is junk, but to me is like not junk. See, it's like old and dirty, you can, oh. These are amazing. Like these vintage pins are all from like the 80s, 90s when I was growing up. I love these. They remind me of my grandma. So these I'm going to keep for a project that I'm going to start. <laughs> this, you know, this pin as well. I think these are all like old Avon and stuff. These, however, I think are amazing. Look how cute these are. I love these. Little earrings. So these I'm going to keep. I think those are super cute. And then again, these are just cheesy, vintage, nostalgia, Christmas pins. Like, I remember this stuff. Like, this is the kind of stuff that you would have at your school and they would have, like, you could bring money in and buy gifts for your parents and grandparents. This was the kind of, this was the kind of stuff they had. Oh, look, he's holding a. I think this is marked. Oh, no, it's not marked anything. But I love them. So these I'm all keeping. These I loved. This, I don't remember what is in everything. Okay. So these are Trafari 14 karat gold posts. Um, this is like what I said. Like this got a funk smell. Funky smell. Funky old smell to it. I don't know if the hearts are actually gold as well or if it's just the posts. Uh, I thought these were really pretty. My daughter has already claimed these. She likes the little earrings for the most part. So she claimed those. Next we have some more vintage Avon. And this is just a pretty pink and white tennis bracelet. I don't think it's um, silver or anything. It's just marked Avon. It's super cute though. I think it's very feminine, very girly. 
So I will probably sell that because I'm not gonna wear it. I don't I just don't want to keep things I'm not gonna wear. Uh this says Joan Rivers. Oh. You do have that bracelet? Is it old? Like this box seems really old to me. Does it have a date on it? It says 1992, but I don't know if that's just the year Avon started. No, couldn't have. So maybe it's from 1992. Like I said, I feel like everything in here is from mid to early 90s. You got it as a kid in the night. Okay, then that makes sense. This, I almost pooped myself because I kind of thought so. And then when I got it, I was able to determine that this is a 14 karat gold. Uh rope bracelet it's too big for me my daughter was like oh i want it and it's too big for her too so i will probably um resell it and it is marked 14 karat let's see if we can zoom in it's not gonna let me zoom no i don't know what i'm doing so it says 14 karat right right there <laughs> so it's very nice I mean it doesn't look worn or tarnished or not tarnished but you know how gold can get dull after a while um, it looks really good so that was a good deal then we have these and these had a little sticker these are marked 14 karat as well They're like a little flower with a gold ball. Different. <laughs> Not my style. Um, I think my daughter wanted those too, but we'll see. I might, I'm either going to resell those or keep those. Okay. So my hand keeps going to grab it, so I'm just going to show you. This is why I bought it. <clears throat> Now, if you follow my videos, I found one of these already, and I paid, I want to say it was $7.99 for it, and I sold it for $2.50, I believe. So, seeing this for $80, just this alone was worth it, and everything else is an extra, but here it is. Do, do, do. Okay, the box is gross, but that does not take away from the fact that it is... A authentic Gucci, oh, what the heck is this called? Bengal. I forget what it's called now. Um, and it comes with all of these. Now, this one right here is the most, is worth the most. This right here, the red and green, is worth, I want to say it was between like 30 and 50 just for this bazelle. Now, here's my problem. <laughs> I know how much I can get for it. I just don't know if I want to sell it because it's got all these colors, which are kind of, eh, I don't know. But I, I want one now. Now that everybody's got one, I want one. So I'm not sure if I'm going to sell or keep. So for $80, this was mainly what I was bidding on and everything else is just kind of extra. But wait, there's more. So with this, it has a little bit of wear. Like, um, I don't know if that can be cleaned or if it's just a slight bit of fading. I know, my aunt had one too. So did my, my one girlfriend. She was like, my aunt had those. I was so jealous of it. So, like, I'm torn on whether to keep or to sell and they're huge right they're hot right now so with this also came ding, doo -doo. Oh, hold on three boxes of more bazelles so i'm definitely selling 
the red and green one out of here and the red and green one out of here. Um, there are a lot of duplicates, so I'm going to take the doubles and put them in one box and sell those separately. I'm going to sell, well, together, and then I'm going to sell the red and green ones separately because those sell for the most. Um, those are 30 to 50 like I said, by themselves. So I can sell these two right here and make my money back on this whole box. Um, but like I said, there are some doubles. Uh, they must have picked out the ones that they liked and had multiple boxes. I'm not sure. So I will decide if I'm going to keep it or not. I know I shouldn't. I absolutely shouldn't because I have my Apple Watch. And I really, re and I just bought a really nice Michael Kors watch. Thank you. I know I was so excited. I couldn't believe she accepted. I was like, oh, but I don't think, I think she was, she accepted pretty quick. So she was happy to get rid of them. Um, okay. Still more, still more. Nothing, nothing that great. Oh, wait, we had a, we had a couple pins that fell out of the box. This guy. <laughs> Definitely reminds me of my childhood Christmas. Like going to Macy's and seeing it all decked out. JC Penney's. Um, okay, the last two things, which I don't even remember now, is... Oh, these. I love these. They're from the Accessory Lady. And they are vintage... Uh, bows with the little dangly pearls. I love these. I think they're so sweet. And you know what I just picked up, which will be in another one of my hauls coming up, is um, it's like a shawl, not a shawl, like an open sweater. And it's like mohair. It's all white and furry. It's so pretty. I think this would look really pretty with that. So these I'm going to keep. These were originally $18. I don't know where from the accessory lady. Oh, wait. They can't be. Oh, that's a ring. I wonder if that's in there. I didn't even look. No. <laughs> so I love these. So I'm super excited about those. And last but not least, I do not remember what this was. Oh, okay. It is just this little dainty pearl necklace. And I believe, let me double check that this is sterling. Yep. And then it has the sterling box chain. So I would probably, it says it's from America's Leading Jeweler. <laughs> no name though. Um, I would probably keep the chain and ditch the little probably sell this in a lot or something with some other sterling because it's just I, I just wouldn't wear this it's very pretty but I like I would use the chain um so that's it that's it <laughs> but I think for 80 I definitely definitely got my money's worth in the Gucci wall or Gucci watch stuff um and then the added bonus of some sterling and some 14 karat definitely worth the $80. So I hope you guys liked my live. <laughs> I will try to do more if you guys like these or if you like them pre-filmed, let me know. Um, I appreciate you all for watching and commenting and sticking around. So as always, like, comment, share, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. And I probably talk way too fast and I will slow it down next time. <laughs>